What's up, everybody? So, I got a package in the mail today. Oh, that's backwards. Cruising Exotica, Van 64. So you may be wondering, wow, why make a whole video just to tell us you got one game? Well, let me explain why. Yes, I have taken a collector's standpoint in all the video gaming that I do. However, my ultimate goal, apart from being just a collector, is to recreate my childhood as I remember it when I was younger. Well, this game completes the puzzle of my childhood. N64 4. You see, with the addition of this game, I now have every single game I ever played as a child and can now move on to just searching out new games that just look cool to me at my age now. But to go over them real quickly, you know, we have Course. You just can't have an N64 collection without Zelda Ocarina of Time and Zelda Majora's Mask. And since I love these games so much, I had to get the gold carts of both of them. This one also having the holographic image on the front. I don't really know if you can tell it in this. Yeah, I guess you can. Then, of course, this game has a very special place for me because this is the first Nintendo 64 game I ever played. 007 Goldeneye, 007 The World Is Not Enough, Perfect Dark, Battle Tanks, Banjo-Kazooie, Pokemon Stadium 2, Pokemon Stadium Original, Pokemon Snap, Excite Bike 64, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Hydro Thunder, Wipeout 64, Cruisin' Exotica, Body Harvest, Yoshi's Story, Super Mario 64, and Quest 64. So, you know, it's pretty surreal actually to stand here and say this is the cornerstone of my childhood. All this makes up my childhood. So I'm really excited to have my N64 collection done. And now I've only got two more consoles left to complete. But I will, of course, always be getting more N64 games as I find ones that look cool to me. But just want to uh, give this little video update here because I figured it was a pretty big event, at least for me.